All right, so as promised, this is the follow video to the Darwin FPV uh, Express LRS all-in-one board that I showed you a couple weeks back. And so this is their new updated board, 15 amp AC, 2 to 3 S. Um, and I put it into my uh, Cinema build here. This is a custom Cinema build that I did from last year. I will link the original video down in the video description. I'm not going to cover the uh, entire aspects of the Cinema again in this video. So if you want to see details on how this was put together, uh, that video will be down in the video description. However, uh, putting this board in was a very easy swap in because the board that was in here before also had this vertical uh, USB port, as you see here. And that, you know, that kind of is a determining factor in what you can put this in. And I found that uh, those frames, whether it's a uh, toothpick frame or whoop frame, if it had a vertical USB port, this was a pretty easy drop in. And uh, if, oh, again, if you want to see the uh, details on the board itself, I'll link that video as well down in the video description. I'm not going to cover every little detail in that. In this video, I just wanted to show you how I put it into this build. And so I did actually uh, two videos on this one, I think. I'll link both of them because uh, I did an update video when I put the DJI system in here. But as you can see, here's the board. And it's actually like this. It's oriented this way. And because it has the Express LRS SPI receiver, which you can see the antenna for right here. And I actually swapped that antenna and I'll show you what, I use a different one because I wanted something a little lighter. But because it has the SPI receiver, it has both UARTs open uh, for the uh, uh, DJI FP system. And I have a GPS on here now. So that's the GPS right there. And each one of those requires a full UART. And because um, the receiver is now an SPI receiver, the uh, it, I can add a, a GPS on this one, whereas before I was not able to. And this is the wiring here. Um, go to the other video. I want to see if you want to see the wiring diagram. I basically have the GPS on these pads over here, and the UART for the DJI system is over here. And then obviously DJI is powered by the battery leads. But yeah, it was a pretty easy swap in. Basically, I took the old board out. I had to desolder the receiver, which I think was I was using Crossfire. Desolder all the motor wires, of course, and just uh, popped it in there, and then soldered in all the wires again. So quite a easy swap in for me, on, at least on this build, and worked out really well because I, I usually only fly this on two or three S anyway. And uh, has the built-in Express LRS receiver. So let's see the antenna right there. This is actually one of the antennas from the Happy Model EP1, I believe. So it comes with like a longer one and a shorter one. So I use the longer one and I just have it like fish through this little dampening piece here. It doesn't go anywhere and it doesn't show up in the video. And it's kind of out, out away from stuff, So which is kind of, which is kind of what you want for uh, the antenna. Uh, either that or somewhere up front here. And other than that, that's the only thing I changed. I didn't change anything else on this build. so. I'll link all those videos down in the video description, and yeah, now that I have a GPS on here, I can, uh, I have GPS rescue set up, and I can go into like kind of sketchy areas, and if I lose signal, then uh, it'll come back to me, or sort of. Anyway, one kind of important thing to keep in mind about this board is that it is uh, still on a RC version of Betaflight 4.3 because of the SPI receiver. It does have the built the Express LRS uh, version two firmware on here, so it will work with any of your transmitters that are, are running version two firmware. Uh, but because it is a, still an RC version, the sliders don't work properly, uh, and for tuning, so I had to put all the numbers in manually for this here, this particular build. So something to keep in mind until Betaflight 4.3 is finalized. Um, we're probably not going to see how this is going to work in terms of tuning and with the sliders and stuff because I had the latest nightly build of the um, configurator and everything, so the yeah, sliders still aren't working properly. So there's still a lot of issues with Betaflight 4.3 uh, currently, so you should keep that in mind um, if you're considering getting this. Anyway, here's some of the flight footage from this guy. I took it on a trip 
uh, recently, and I think this is going to be footage from Red Rock Canes, I believe. So, hope you enjoy, and I'll talk to you guys in the next one.